everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, it's time to do a random build. I ordered some puzzles online, and they were part of a series. This one was part of the Magical series. Now I'll insert a photo so you can see all three puzzles that were available. There's one called Capricorn Dragon, Virgo Dragon, and Tiger Blade Dragon. The artist for these works is Ruth Thompson. Beautiful, just love them. Released by Arrow Puzzles. Now, I say random because I wasn't able to select which one of the three puzzles I wanted to buy. You just added to cart and one of them was randomly selected for you and sent. So I kind of was really hoping for the Virgo Dragon just because it had a lot more blues and purples, but in the end they sent me the Capricorn Dragon. So a few things to note. One. The pieces are of a larger size. So it's a 500 piece puzzle and I think I would consider this like an extra large size piece puzzle. I'll insert a photo comparing to their regular size pieces. But opening this up, do you want to know what I found inside that I absolutely loved? A poster of the puzzle. I wish more companies would do this. Now this was an inexpensive puzzle. I didn't spend that much money on it. They managed to reduce the size of the box, which at first I thought, oh, that'll make it difficult for me to see the image, but then they included the poster, which I love working with over the box. The box is a bit bigger and clunkier, whereas the poster, you can easily move it around your table as you're working, and if you're puzzling with a friend, one can use the puzzle, uh, the poster, and one can use the box. So I just thought that was great. I hope I enjoy doing this puzzle. I'm a bit disappointed that it's in portrait form. I should have realized that when I bought it. Um, I think what I'll try to do is maybe build it in two parts and then perhaps try to join them together. We'll see how that goes. I'm not gonna do any sorting. I'm just gonna spread the pieces out on the table and go from there. I've tried to do that more often with smaller puzzles of 500 pieces and less. I enjoy doing it, but I do find after a while my eyes get a bit tired from like looking around on the table, trying to focusing on pieces. And also I don't like getting my head in the shot. And sometimes it's nice to have a top down view or a better view of the pieces. So I find in between like changing out the battery or whatnot and I stand up and I look down I'm like oh there's the piece I've been looking for for the last you know half an hour and so there are pros and cons to sorting and not sorting but I do realize because I'm filming that that adds a complexity that perhaps a typical puzzler would not have so no sorting just going to spread it out might do it in two chunks not sure, see how that goes. So happy that I have the poster. So for the love of puzzles, let's get to building.
that was really enjoyable to build. The pieces fit nicely together, they weren't too tight, they didn't stick, and they also came apart nicely. But what I enjoyed was while working with the puzzle, even though it was a, maybe a bit of a loose fit, it wasn't so loose that the pieces would fall apart if I accidentally touched them. So I'm pleased with this puzzle. I'm glad it was randomly selected for me. Um, not maybe the one I would have originally chosen, but I still enjoyed it very much. Again, love the fact that they include a poster. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of glossy pieces simply because with the light and working on them it makes it a bit more difficult to see the image also to record glossy pieces and puzzles in portrait mode perhaps are not the best at least for my setup to record i have one more puzzle that was randomly selected from me from the same company and it's also probably glossy pieces and in portrait mode but after that i'll try to minimize you know those types of puzzles that i buy in the future then again unless it's written on the box the type of finish you may not even know i think i have seen puzzles that like write like linen finish in the description of the puzzle do you have a preferred finish to a puzzle you know matte glossy linen that you enjoy working with more than others? Are there certain brands you prefer? Please leave your comments below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!